Next caller here. It's gonna be it's gonna be Graham Wheelock, who's very, very active on CLP Discord. And I know that there's quite a few people that uh, are looking forward to this call. They want me to go particularly hard on you, Graham. So Yeah, I want that too. I'm currently at the win. I'm gonna shuffle chips this entire call. So Oh, you're at the win? How, what's the uh, <laughs> game what are the games like over at the win during the series? Uh, they've been good. They're running the day 1B of the 1600 right now. They got 500 runners at level three. Cash game lists are huge. Man, every everybody, everyone's just fucking running a tournament series, huh? Like at every casino opposite to the yeah, WSOP. I mean, it's, it's been pretty crazy. My buddy final tabled an Aria last night. I'm playing Aria Mystery Bounty on Wednesday. So yeah, and those games, mis- games games are good and games are busy. Yeah, but but that doesn't mean the cash games though are good. My biggest gripe because I had heard, I mean, at least at the WSOP was. You know, it, there were a lot of euros in the no limit games, long lists. I always say too, if you're just a no limit player that just plays no limit cash games, I don't know why people go to Vegas unless you were going to play tournaments during the WSOP, because usually the games like sort of tend to soften up locally, and you know you got to deal with a bunch of bullshit like long lists and things like that. But if I if I well, was, I'm also I'm also here for the meetup, which is another well, there another you go. part of why. I'm here, so. <laughs> All right, Graham. So where is this one played out of? So this is at the Paris uh, World Series cash games. Okay, so this is the W. So this is the Paris games, which and they were running some two f- five ten was been was in Kings because I played it, but this is two five or did they only do they only have two five or do they have smaller than that too? They have they have one three I because think. don't they do aren't they doing the same type of thing that they used to do at the Rio where they have these small cash games that are actually going on in the horseshoe, similar to where if you remember with the Rio that Rio had their poker room up in the front next to the dim sum place do you know what i I'm never went about? to the rio so oh, i okay. can't say um the rio used to run smaller cash games in their poker room and i think horseshoe is doing that as well like there's a horseshoe poker room where they're running small games oh oh yeah no i went by there too and yeah it just didn't look that great yeah the yeah. actual yeah, yeah. They, had, they had i think they had one they had one two like two three that yeah kind the of tiny stuff. ones but yeah pretty small so is this two five or what oh uh, it's two five yeah and it's one k cap all right so two five hey, can i do five black please Sorry, Bart. Graham uh, really yes, isn't. He really is uh, there. <laughs> One K cap, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm about to get called. I really don't want to have to lose my seat. I've already no, waited no, for like no, an hour. So. No worries, no worries. Yeah. Two five. One K. One K cap. Eight handed. Uh, background is uh, so I'm in the seven. Um, the main villains in the one. He and I are the only two competent players at the table, in my opinion. Um, so he and I are both pretty deep. We're at twenty five hundred effective. Okay. Um, so he opens to 15 under the gun, a bad player in middle position, flats. Under the gun to 15, and then uh, MP calls? MP calls, yeah, uh-huh. he's just like a bad, okay. you know, yep. bad, bad wreck. I'm in the big line with aces. I think I have ace of hearts, ace of spades. Okay. Um, I three bet to, I think, 85. Okay, so 15 call, hero three bets to 85 out of the big line with aces. Uh huh. Yeah, which I think might be a little small given how deep we are. I mean, it's still, it's almost 6x, right? I mean, there's a raise and a call and it's almost a 6x, right? Yeah, I just, I like, I like going really big out of the big, um, you know. Well, you guys are very deep. I mean, for 2,500, I mean, it's 500 effective. And I don't know if the typical thing was just 3x, but that would sort of keep the pot a little bit on the smaller side as opposed to like, you know, 25 or $30 open. But I mean, I can definitely get on board with, you know, larger sizing, but I think 85 is, is okay here too. Okay. So under the gun calls, middle position folds. So it's me. And, and this guy is kind of like a hero. You know, the only other competent player. He has a big stack. He covers me. So the pot's probably right around 185 and your head's up. Uh, three betting out of the big blind against the original UTG opener, right? Yes. Okay. 185. Go to the flop. Uh, I get a really good flop. King of clubs, four spades, deuce of diamonds. King of clubs, four spades, deuce of diamonds. Deuce of diamonds. Okay. So on such a dry board, um, I actually... In three bet pots, I'm not sure how much I like it. I like going, you know, I don't really like range bets. I like going at least half pot or larger. So I bet a hundred. So you bet a hundred here, which is about a little over half. I mean, the only thing that's to be said here, I mean, he should, you know, obviously you block having ace king. You would think the guy would probably four bet off with a caller in between with king king. I mean, it's possible that he calls, but but I think think you're kind of protected in that way. So that's actually a really good thing that's going on here because... There are times at this depth, if you are so tight coming out of a single raise pot where king king might be flatted. What I mean by that is is that under the gun opens, big blind three bets, 
you it's not always a four bet with king king but the fact that that mid position guy called he's pretty much always going to four bet with king king so this is very very good for you the fact that he doesn't have king king i mean obviously there's a couple combos of you know king x here too you know maybe he calls a king queen suited king jack king 10 and you know obviously some some ace king and then you know if he's got like nines plus he's not going to just fold fold out so hero bets a hundred sure. okay and he does something really weird um he raises the 240 so raises to 240 now could he have fours and deuces here fours i think deuces i don't yeah but i mean he's he's so he's so deep everyone else at the table is so bad i mean he's pro he's probably really wide from under the gun I think he probably could have fours and deuces here. It's kind of an interesting thing because, like I said, we don't think he's got kings. And what raises here to two forty? Kind of interesting. The, the only the only thick value is fours and deuces, and then he has his like I guess like protection and like thin value with king x. Um, and then he has I think he has a lot of stupid backdoor kind of bullshit kind of hands. Yeah, but you didn't bet tiny. You know, you didn't go like forty or fifty where you get that those bullshit. To, um, you know, that bullshit raising sizes. The the race size is so small as I look down here and I see our, our buddy Nate Schmidt in the live chat. You know, I was going to say like, if you, if we're shallower here and we're just comfortable just getting any amount of money in, you could bet three bet the flop. And the thing about bet three betting the flop here is that it's such a rare line from your perspective with one pair that if this guy is like a thinking Euro, I don't think he's going to fold a king. Like if he actually is raising king x here or some backdoor bullshit, he might he might actually call. I mean, the whole reason why we don't want to like, you know, three bet a hand sometimes like on a board like this and three bet probably just be like, oh, it's way ahead, way behind. Like you're just going to get him to fold out, you know, king x. But I don't think that that's going to happen though because if you sort of look at the setup, it's kind of like a mini raise. He might convince that you're sort of full three betting him because of his like little bullshit like in position flop raise and if he is raising with a king i don't think he's folding the king all that much yeah i don't think i thought about it enough i, I kind of just like you know I, I'd, I'd played with them i'd probably been the table two three hours um he likes overbet a lot and he he played a hand against me where i opened under the gun he three bet king queen off early versus early yep so in my mind like i was convinced like this is a great spot for me to just call and let him barrel off with like all of his i think i i think he has a lot of stupid hands here so i was just gonna call let him barrel off Whenever I talked to Nate about it, he suggested the flop three bet. And I think that was something where I just missed it because we're so deep. And you know, I don't find a lot of bet three bets with one pair. But I think you're right that it looks kind of odd to to bet three bet. Because my kings don't really want to bet three bet either because I block so much of you know right. his, his range. By the way, for you um, guys who are watching this as a YouTube video, the best of, you can see that I actually went away. Uh, I'm just going to try. I'm trying something different here for the YouTube video. You might see nothing. For the rest of the hand of me but you'll see the graphics or you might see something else i just want to give everybody who's watching this as a best of video a little bit of a heads up so under the gun raise the 240 and you call right so hero calls all right so hero calls yep and it looks like the pot now is what 480 plus 185 so that's what 665 something like that all right on to the turn turn's pretty bad card in my opinion it's the queen of clubs queen of clubs why just because of king queen I think he has a lot of king queen. If you know the, the, his flop raises, I think are king queen. Key. I don't think he has ace king in his flop raising range personally. Like I think like 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 the you know, potential five out draws versus aces, like king queen, king jack, king ten, and it's the queen of clubs. So you know it's it doesn't cut down on any king queen suited combos. Um, it's still three king queen suited combos. The only thing I would say though too though with this whole setup is that if he was starting a backdoor kind of bullshit race that we talked about like a queen jack of spades, you know, something like that. I do think that this card gets checked a lot by him, I think, here. so if he turns showdown, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I, it turns showdown, and, and it's just, you know, if you're bet calling with, like, you know, nines through tens, he doesn't necessarily need to bet now just because... If he has a hand like jack ten, he probably wants to check back and take his equity because I have, you know, kings, queens. I, I'm calling his flop race with queens. No, know, I personally. think with jack ten, though, I think if I'm him on continued barrel turn, though. Okay, interesting. I, I think I definitely continue to barrel turn, but I'm talking about if I specifically hit a queen. Sure. It, 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 it's just because we don't know off the top of our head what your sort of setup is supposed to be for bet three betting here. Because if you're not bet three betting aces and you're not betting three betting kings, then 
in theory, if you're not bet three betting anything, then you still have everything. So mm-hmm. might dictate like a little bit of a tighter him betting less hands if you still have everything. But if you are bet three betting like your strongest hands, then that would dictate that you don't have those strongest hands. A little bit more betting here on the turn. But I assume you check here, right? So here, check. I check. Oh. I check. He goes 350. 350. So it's like this are at half pot. So 350, UTG 350. Well, I think now it's kind of a little bit in between, right? Yeah, I mean, it feels it feels a little. I don't I don't know how I feel about raising. Um, we're still super deep. I mean, I, I don't know what our SPR is, but it's pretty high. Um, it's probably like five, uh, four. So if you call, the pot's going to be 1335, and you'll have about right around 1800 left, right? Something like that. Yeah, you've got like 1.4 SPR on the road. I mean, I think at this point, it's probably a call, and you're going to evaluate what's going on at the yeah. end. I do, so I, I call. River, 10 of clubs. 10 of clubs. All right, so let's go back and just review this for the podcast people. This is obviously, um, you know, played at the WSOP at Paris. Under the gun of 15, MP calls, hero, three bets to 85 with aces, ace of hearts, ace of spades. Under the gun calls, which means because there's a caller behind, we don't think he has king, king. And then the other guy folds, so it's 185. King four deuce, hero bets 100. Under the gun raises to 240. Hero calls, 665. Turns a queen of clubs. Hero checks. Under the gun, 350. Hero calls. River is the 10 of clubs. So the king, the queen, and the 10 of clubs are out there. Hero does not have aces with the ace of clubs. And now Hero somehow, if it ever was like that, might, uh, this guy runs into Kings Up some of the time and he runs into some two pair bullshit backdoors some of the time here as well. Another hand that maybe once in a while is structured here because you don't have the ace of clubs would be like ace five of clubs, ace three of clubs, something like that. So not the best run out for you, that's for sure. Not great. And you know, my, like I said on the flop, my plan was to like let him barrel off and do something stupid because he was just really aggressive um you know really aggressive and like to use large bet sizes so i check and he goes 1200 you know off of 1800 so he goes just under pot wow uh so utg 1200 yeah i it, i don't know man i mean i don't i don't graham I, don't, I don't maybe we've met before i'm not sure i don't know how you look like if you look like a midwestern 24 like a, year old 24 year old white guy the reason why i asked that is, is that if this guy is a euro if you looked like like a fifty year old like guy from Wisconsin, it might just be like very very value heavy. You know what I'm saying? It still seems to me to be extremely value betting heavy because if he's a euro and he's good enough, he should never have an offsuit ace here. Which is what what I mean by that is is like if he's structuring correctly, even if he does have like bo- see him have like ace queen ace king off. I, what I mean by a uh, small offsuit ace, excuse me, sure, small sure, offsuit sure, sure, sure. ace. I mean, it would even be debatable whether ace-queen should even be there. Ace-queen off being like the minimum. Say he was folding like ace-jack, but he's just not going to show up there. And then again, we talked about whether or not that's going to get checked through here on the turn. So it's hard for him to have like the stiff ace of clubs here. Because ace-jack is a straight, right? And ace-queen off the ace of clubs. turning ace of clubs, king-x into a bluff. Yeah. And it's just like, is that really happening here? I don't think so. I mean, it raised to 240 and then just bang, bang, you know, off of a club. I mean, unless he thought that he was somehow like getting you off of... The same hand. I just, it's very, very valuey here. And now that the clubs have come in and you unblock it and you've got, so if there was ever some like five, four of clubs, bullshit raise, right? And you used to say these bullshit backdoor types of raises, it's not just bullshit Broadway backdoor. It's, it's could be like some bullshit ace, four clubs, five, four clubs, something like that. God forbid it should be, he, I mean, he, should, he shouldn't have ace deuce of clubs, you know, cause it's under the gun, very tight three betting but i'm just saying some of that backdoor crap five six of clubs gets there now so really not a great run out for you i mean if you were telling me if the river was like an offsuit eight and he, you checked and you bet 1200 sure i would just close I my probably, eyes and call station. yeah but here it probably back to you know goon's recent video you know like you know, one of the heuristics is triple broadway boards are so under bluffed and like i have kings i have queens I have king queen. I have a lot of really, really, really strong hands. So even if he has fours here, like he he might go three streets with it. But if he has fours, I feel like that shrivels up a little bit on this this run out. Yeah, yeah. I, I would fold so, here personally. 
Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I, I knew what I needed to do. I was just really tilted about it because, you know, I, I, my game plan was just to let them barrel off and I just got a pretty bad run out. I mean, the only worst is probably Jack of clubs, you know, on the, on the river, but yeah. So I, I tank, you know, probably a minute, you know, like I said, I knew what I needed to do. I just needed a minute to have a funeral for my hand. Um, so I, Obviously, you know, fold. I do it face up, you know, get you sympathy face from, up, huh? from the table. Yeah. yeah. And? Um, which, you know, may, might, might, might not be great. Obviously, he doesn't show. He's oh, he doesn't show. But, oh. but yesterday at the win, I ran into him. Okay. What kind of, is he like Italian or something? He said he was from Hawaii. I thought you said he was a Euro. <laughs> Uh, I'm just calling him that. You know, oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a Vegas. He's a Vegas local, like for-profit reg. I think oh, he just looked like a euro. Oh, okay. Like a back. I might be a little loose with the bringing definition. his own lunch. Well, I sometimes I call Canadian euro. I just think that's funny. <laughs> so you ran into him, okay? Yeah, and I was I was nice. I was like, so you you're gonna tell me what you got me with? And he's like, yeah. Felt pretty gross. He said he had ace nine of clubs. Well, that's a bullshit backdoor one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, 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 you know, I think if the turn is, you know, another, you know, like let's say the turns, you know, an eight of spades or whatever, I think that might be an interesting spot where I, I think I just call down and let him, you know, triple off with whatever he's got. But yeah. I think on that run out, I'm just kind of handcuffed. And then River is just, you know, it, it, even if he fires, like if he fires small, like if he fires like 500, it's it's probably enough for me to be really upset about it. But I, I still call. Um, 1200, you know, left himself 600 back. I was like, yeah, I mean, and the other downside, I don't know if you want to get into this, but the other downside is in a 1k cap game, if I call there, I'm down to, you know, below 1k. So I go from a 2,500 stack to a 1k stack, which, you know, kind of hurts my, my, my hourly versus everybody else. I mean, I've always talked about some considerations in cap games. I got into this argument with this idiot on Twitter, this guy, Jay Riley, he's a moron from Canada who's <laughs> always trolling me. I always say like sometimes I'll take slightly the worst of it in a cap game to get more money onto the table because I know that I'm always going to top up. If I win, I've got a bunch of chips, which is good for image. And if I lose, I know I'm going to top up. So there's more chips on the table. There are certain things that, that these things come into consideration. T Grupta says Vegas knit, fold the flop. Well, that Vegas knit had just the back door. So. so just to recap, I mean, on the flop, you like you like a bet three bets to like six, seven somewhere. And then on the queen of clubs, are you barreling or checking? I mean, what, what are you thinking if we go with the bet three bet strat? Um, you know, what's funny here is actually I, I will change my mind just to, to, you know, and I might be incorrect about perceptions. I like a bet three bet a lot more against an actual Euro than a Vegas reg. Oh, okay. I just find that Vegas regs are more grindy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that this wasn't like a grindy play, but, you know, it kind of goes back to, I I like a bet three bet if I assume that the player has some King X raises and will not fold because your line is so bizarre because it's so bizarre to see a bet three bet in live poker. And that is more consistent with a Euro doing that to me than like a Vegas grindy bitter reg, if you follow Sure, me. and then like the, the four or five of clubs, you know, those the you yeah. know, four or five at the back door. You know, yeah. those kind of hands, five, six, you know, those hands make yeah. a lot of sense, you know, yeah. to me. So thanks for the call, Graham. I'll see you on Saturday. Okay. Sounds good, man. Looking forward to All it. All right.